The piece of kit we're checking out today does one thing, and that is shoot really, really long time lapses and give you basically unlimited flexibility to how those time lapses are taken. This crazy housing combined with Camdu's Blink X controller is designed to allow you to take time lapses with whatever intervals you want on whatever schedule you want for as long as you want and if you connect it to either a solar panel or into mains power you can take time lapses for basically ever. This product is targeted at someone who's looking to set up a time lapse, maybe, well, during a construction of some building project where the, t the standard time scale of one to two days isn't really going to be enough. These things are designed that you can set them up outside in the elements and not really worry about it for months on end. And you might be thinking that's a lot of footage, but with the Blink X controller, it's able to schedule photos so that it only boots up once, maybe twice, five times a day to take one to five photos. So sure, your project may be 600 days long, but at the end, you might only end up with 600 photos taken at noon each day. And your camera doesn't have to be on during that whole time. The Blink X is able to boot up and turn off the camera as needed. Before we get into the heart of this system, it is worth taking a tour of the outside. So it's got a standard enough waterproof housing, which has been heavily modified. So it's a waterproof case, which has got a hole cut out in the front of it for your lens of the GoPro to shoot through. And what's really cool here is it's got onto it mounted a uh, filter ring so that any UV filter, a 67 millimeter filter fits onto it. The case comes with one, but if for whatever reason it's damaged, scratched, or if you want to put a polarizer or a neutral density filter on there, you could. So very easy to screw that on and off to replace the filters as they become damaged. On the back of the waterproof case, they've got a massive metal bra mounting bracket, which has got a whole bunch of quarter by 20 inch uh, nuts bolted into it so that it's easy to mount in whatever way you want. You can get a bunch of different mounting brackets and you can screw uh, any kind of tripod mount or anything like that right into it. That's how the solar panel mounts onto it using a standard RAM mount. So it's very easy to use those. They just screw into some of the mounting holes and then mount right onto the back of the solar panel. On the bottom of the case, there's the receptacle for uh, running power into the case, and that is just handled by kind of one of these plugs that as you tighten the plug down, it's got a big O-ring that cinches around the wire to create a water-resistant seal. Once you open up the case, you get to what really makes this thing work. And there's three different things inside there. First off, there's your standard GoPro camera. The Blank X currently works with the GoPro Hero 5 Black and Hero 5 Session. Camdu is looking to add support for more camera models in the coming year. What happens is you run a USB Type-C cable from the Blink X into your GoPro Hero camera. And then the Blink X takes over and is able to control your camera. The other piece of hardware, which is very important, is the power supply, which is used to power the entire system. Now it's important because it needs to be a always on power supply. We've all got a bunch of battery banks, but most of these battery banks are designed to power off when they're not charging. This saves long-term energy and make sure that the power bank lasts. Even if you just leave your power cord plugged into it, um, there's no like off on switch. They just automatically turn off when they're not being used. So the power supply you use with this needs to be always on because for long, long periods of time, neither the Blink X or your GoPro camera are going to be requiring power. Finally, uh, this power supply, which is included, is one that is capable of being charged via the solar panel. So the power from the solar panel comes into the power supply, which charges up basically a, uh, a battery bank with a USB plug on it. And then that USB power runs into the Blink X, and from the Blink X, it runs into our GoPro camera. All in all, what this is, is a super robust, easy to mount, um, large, beefy, skookum, housing for our GoPro camera, our battery bank, and our time-lapse controller, and our solar panel, which means that if we want to leave this outside for a couple months, we can, we can mount this onto a tree, or onto a post, or onto the side of the building, and then just 
leave it there. And that leads us to the Blink X, the piece of hardware that I've been talking to about throughout this video, and that is the piece of hardware that allows us so much control over the time lapses on our GoPro camera. It's a little box, about the same footprint as a GoPro camera, but much skinnier, which has a couple ports on it. And this unit is able to communicate with our GoPro camera, turn it on and off, and change modes. Setting up the Blink X is quite straightforward, but you do need a, a tablet, a computer, or a smartphone. What is nice to see is that they didn't write a standalone app for this thing. It just works via a web portal, and this is something which a lot of manufacturers who have simple, simple apps for their devices could take note from. All you have to do is you connect to the Blink X's Wi-Fi network, which is established when you push the Wi-Fi button, and then you enter the address of the Blink X. This brings up a web portal where you have the ability to set up all of the different scheduling options inside of the Blink X. You can control when a schedule is active, and then how often during that active schedule it takes photos. You can schedule multiple different schedules, and basically if schedules overlap, whatever the lowest number schedule is, is the one that takes precedence. You know, schedules for weekdays and weekends and all kinds of different things. So you could do one that, for example, one of the things that's important here is you can schedule it so it only takes photos while it's light out. So if you wanna have a 10 day time lapse, but you wanna take photos during daylight hours, you could do that. Or if you only want to take photos while there was actually working on your job site, you could do that as well. So you could schedule, I, were, I take photos from eight to five during all the weekdays, but on weekends, we don't take any photos. Or maybe you take less photos on the weekend just in case there's something going on. You could have different speed ramps. You could have faster or larger gaps between photos at night and smaller gaps during photos during the day. A lot of flexibility built in here. Then, you're gonna send your schedule, save your schedule. It's gonna get downloaded onto the Blink X and then the, that is hard stored on the Blink X. This means that even if our solar panel gets covered by snow and the ba internal battery bank inside the housing dies, then, well, because it's hard stored on the Blink X, maybe we're not gonna take photos for a couple days, but once the solar panel gets cleared off and some juice returns, it's gonna start right back up on that schedule. There's a real-time clock built into the Blink X so it doesn't need power to keep schedule so it always knows what time it is. That is nice to see because it's something the GoPro cameras lacked for a long time. Their clocks would get reset as soon as they uh, lost power. All of this does come at a price and well, the Blink X is not cheap. The Blink X alone, that's a controller unit, is about $315, which for you or me who just goes out and shoots some stuff with our GoPro cameras is a lot of money, but if you're a professional, getting paid to set up long-term time lapses on buildings and construction sites, it's probably a much easier pill to swallow. And then on top of that, there is the cost of the housing. But the good news here is that if all you wanna do is shoot long-term time lapses and maybe you're able to set up your GoPro camera inside a building, or somewhere where you have access to mains power and you don't have to make your camera waterproof, well, then all you need is the Blink X and you're all set to go. I think there's some absolutely awesome places this can get implemented. More and more construction sites are asking for media coverage of their projects and uh, one of the elusive things out there is that long-term time-lapse. It's a very hard thing to shoot, it's a very hard thing to install, and I think what Camdo is doing with their products is pretty cool. Overall, reviewing the Blink X was pretty fun. I haven't seen many other things out there that compete with it. Of course, you could put an interval timer onto a DSLR, or you could buy some bit custom built time lapse cameras. But the thing that the Camdo does so well is that. It uses pre-existing camera hardware, the GoPro camera. We all know what kind of photos it takes. There's tons of tutorials online on how to create time lapses from GoPro's photos. And it pairs that with a piece of hardware which, allow, which gives it a lot more flexibility and allows you basically to completely custom schedule when it takes photos and how its time lapses work. And that's it. It's done. It's easy to set up. The documentation that came with it was really, really good. So it's hard to say um, it's hard to say anything too negative about it or to compare it to anything because I don't have anything to compare it to. But what I will say is that if 
you are out there and you are trying to set up a long-term time lapse and you want a lot of flexibility in how it is scheduled, this is definitely something you should be looking at because it does a really, really good job of allowing for a lot of custom scheduling of long, long-term time lapses. Um, the sample footage that you've seen throughout this video was provided by Blink X because I just didn't have any construction sites uh, that I could go set this thing up on for like a two month period to get something to really show off what it can do. But as you can see, they do some pretty neat things. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think and where would you use this? I talked a lot throughout this video about construction sites. Um, that's because if I, when I do commercial video work, most of it's there. And one thing a lot of them are talking about is how to take these long-term time lapses and it's also Camdu's primary consumer base uh, is construction sites because there's just money behind them to take these things. But um, it'd be neat to see what you guys think would be some other unique uses for something that's capable of taking up to a year long or more time lapse. Hit me up with your suggestions down in the comments below and if you've got any other weird tech like this that you want to see checked out, leave that down there too. Until next time, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.